As I discussed in my common real estate tax benefits video, one of the key qualities that make real estate investments stand out from other types of investments is the ability to appreciate the actual property, among other deductions. The rule is that if you own an apartment or a multifamily building, you can write off the improvements in a straight line method over 27 and a half years. If you own any other type of assets, such as an office or a warehouse, that is written off over 39 years. Remember, you can only depreciate the building and not the land. The tax code basically says that land never loses its value. There is a way, however, to potentially write off portions of the building faster than 27 and a half years or 39 years in a time frame. It's a process called cost segregation or accelerated depreciation. The concept is that even though the building may last for 27 and a half or 39 years, what about the windows, the doors, the carpets, the roof, even the bathrooms? What about all the little parts that make up an entire building? Are those expected to last over two decades? <laughs> Absolutely not. Which is why all savvy investors should seriously consider conducting an accelerated depreciation study. Let's run through an example to show you the benefits. Let's say you purchased a retail building for $2 million and for the sake of making numbers easy, half of the value is allotted to the land and the other half allotted to the improvements. This means you can write off over 1 million over a 39 year time period. And by doing so, you get to write off 25,000 $640 per year in your taxes, with the exception of your first and last year of ownership. But again, what about the roof, the signage, or anything else that exists in the building? As the building owner, you then hire a person or a group to come out and do a study. For a fee which likely costs a few thousand dollars, they determine that certain parts of your building can be written off more quickly. Windows, the roof, and everything else have a tax depreciation schedule of three, five, seven years or whatever it may be. And in fact, they determine the estimated replacement cost of those items. Now, it's been determined that you can write off $50,000 a year for five years, then $35,000 for two more years, and $20,000 a year after that. Of course, this is a made up scenario, but the numbers aren't far-fetched. They're completely plausible. In our scenario, over a seven year time frame, you will have an additional $140,000 or about 20 grand per year. Depending on your tax base, the fee you pay to the individual or the group has easily paid for itself within a year or two. If you're wondering if getting an accelerated depreciation study is right for you, there's a few tips I always tell people. First, don't use someone who isn't a professional. Although this is a legitimate tax strategy, whoever does the study must have paperwork to back up their claims in case you do ever get audited. Also, if you own a smaller building which costs under three to 400,000, it starts not to be a profitable course, simply because the value of the taxes saved won't pay for the cost of the study in a meaningful time frame. However, if you own anything larger and are interested in saving some money, it would likely be in your best interest to contact the proper professional or group and see if it's worth it. Most of the time, the appraisers will even let you know after conducting a calculation or a quick assessment if the study is even worth pursuing for free. Now that's good to know.